How we doing, everybody? This is That R Nerd, back at it again with another R tutorial. This tutorial today is going to go over subsetting within R and the different ways that we can subset. Uh, so to begin, I just made some data up here. Um, I'll leave this data in the description, and as you can see, it's just um, a bunch of random numbers, basically, and then just some names that I made up. Uh, make sure to do the set seed here, and you'll get the exact same numbers that I do for uh, for all these different heights and weights and whatnot. Um, so if we run that in, we have our ages, we have our BMIs, names, gender, height, and whether or not they're overweight. And this is just a logical uh, true if they're overweight, false if they are not. Okay, uh, so the first thing we can do to subset is, uh, it's called subsetting by position. And an example of this could be if we wanted to find the BMI for the 10th person. Um, so basically this, this bracket is what you use to, to subset. And so we're saying in our, our vector BMI, we want to take uh, the, oh, <laughs> uh, we want to take the uh, 10th element of that vector and see what the BMI is. So if we run that, um, we get 23.26. And if we run the whole BMI thing, we'll come out, I have 12, so this is gonna be number 10. Um, and so yeah, so that's the 10th the element of uh, BMI. We can do what they call uh, subset by exclusion. Um, so this is pretty pretty similar, except for um, we'll have a minus three. Um, so for this one, we're gonna look at our age vector and we're gonna look at all of them except for number three. Uh, so this minus sign is the one that it kicks out. So we'll run that. And that gives us our age vector down here, uh, but we're missing our third one. It should be 25 um, and they took that one out. So that would be an example of subsetting uh, by exclusion. We can subset by name. Um, and so for this one, we could say we want to find the BMI of uh, the first name, and we want the first name equal to Adam. And so what this is going to do is it's going to find the BMI for Adam. And so Adam was the first person, right? Because um, I just did these alphabetically. Um, and so the BMI for the first person here for Adam is 21.96. And finally, we can subset by logical. An example of this would be if we did, uh, we want the first name of overweight. Um, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us the first name. Um, it's gonna look at the first name vector and it's gonna look and see who's overweight. And for, uh, well, it's gonna return the name of whoever is, is overweight. Um, so it's gonna check to see if true or false, is are they overweight? If it's true, it's gonna return the, the first name here. Um, so that would be subsetting uh, by logical. Um, an important thing is to make sure the vector exists first or you will get an error. Um, there are a couple different things we can do here uh, also. So if you wanna change the whole, like all, all, of the, uh, all the elements in this vector here, height, then you'll do height and you put the brackets that are empty and we can put something like 70. And if we run that and we call our height, that now changed all the, all the heights to 70 in the whole group. <clears throat> it's kind of, you have to be careful not to, uh, not to do this. So if you leave the brackets out and you do height and you input 70 into it, that's just gonna leave you with with one, right? So now it's just one element and it's 170. Um, so you need to make sure to have the brackets in there when you do that. Okay, I'll set the seed and grab our height back again. Finally, we can do assigning values to elements of a vector. Um, so we have age here. And if we say age of eight, and we'll input 68. What do you think that's gonna do? Well, it's gonna look at age, and it's gonna look at the eighth element of age, and into that, it's gonna put 68. 
Um, so now our eighth element of age is going to be 68. And if we run that, it should have switched. Yeah, so it switched our eighth element, which is 20, and now it's a 68. Okay, I'm going to run this age again. So we have our age back. All right, another thing we could do is by exclusion, right? So we could say minus four, and into that we're gonna put 45. And what do you think that's gonna do? This one's a little weird. Um, so what this one does is, um, is everything except for four, so we're looking at the age vector, everything but four, we're gonna put 45. Um, so it's not gonna throw out the fourth, well, I guess you'll see. Um, so what it does is it leaves the fourth element the same. Everything else, it changes to be a 45. And we'll do one last one here. So if we have, I guess we'll call overweight first, just to take a look at it. So we have false, true, true, all the way down. Um, so if we do age of overweight, and we say uh, NA, actually let's run this age again real quick just so we have our numbers back. Okay, um, so we have this true false, right? And so this is a uh, logical, so the age of anyone who's overweight, we're gonna put that it's missing. So that's basically what this code is saying here. Um, so if we run that, um, we have uh, this person's overweight, uh, the third person. So if we look at the age of the uh, third person, it's gonna be missing. And same for the, the next one down there, the fifth one. Anyways, uh, so that's a couple different ways that you can do subsetting within R. Um, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to click that like button down there. If you have any suggestion for future videos that you wanna see, uh, make sure to leave a comment below and I'll work on making a video for that. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content similar to this one. Thank you very much. Have a good day.